It's that time of year again. People are out in their gardens, weeding, digging, painting, sweeping, moving plants, cleaning, or planting. All of these activities that I've mentioned are necessary and common during this time of year. But what makes it much, much worse is that we've been in lockdown for the last month. Our backs have got stiff. Our muscles have got out of condition. And many of us are experiencing acute low back pain in these days. Here's a few things that you can do with a little bit of understanding and exercise to help relieve acute low back pain. There are three things I'd like to focus on today. The first is relaxing tight muscles reduces pain. Try a rest position such as this. This is a rest position that you may want to try. Take one leg up at a time and just relax the legs with the knees bent and hips bent to 90 degrees. This takes pressure off the discs of the low back and when you're in acute back pain it can be a really helpful position to relieve pain. Another way we can relax tight muscles is by gently stretching them and then activating the opposite muscle group to create a reflex relaxation in the muscles. Here's a couple of exercises that may really help you. Starting from that rest position, pull your knees gently towards your chest until you feel a tightness across the base of your spine. Gently hold for three seconds, ease them back with your hands, and then relax for a count of five. Repeat this six to ten times. Take it nice and gently and you should never be pushing into sharp pain. The second exercise is another really simple one. A ball between your knees, tuck your tummy in, gently breathe in. As you breathe out, gently squeeze the ball and relax. Again, tuck the tummy in, breathing in, and as you breathe out, gently squeeze the ball. After that exercise, take your knees side to side, just in the range that you're comfortable with. Take it nice and gently, six to ten times, within the arc that you're comfortable with. Another one that is really, really helpful to activate the muscles in behind your back is to tuck the tummy as you breathe in, lift your hips off the bed. This is called a bridge. As you breathe out, lower them gently. Remember, don't push up into sharp pain. I don't mind a small discomfort, but not sharp pain. Breathing in as you come up, breathing out as you go down. Secondly, there's a common fallacy that people should just rest and do nothing when they have acute back pain. One of the problems of this is that our joints stiffen up more. Muscles clamp down and tighten, and so it's really important to maintain gentle, regular movement when you have back pain. If you're sitting for long periods, get up, move about regularly. The third and final thing that I'd like to talk about today is posture. Our backs are designed in such a way that they stack up, those joints stack up one on top of each other. But if we are slouched, like on a recliner, or like in bed, propping ourselves on pillows while we're reading a book or looking at our device, you'll find, or quite possibly, this can be an irritant for low back pain. So, make a point of sitting in a higher chair if you've got acute low back pain. Don't spend longer than 15 to 20 minutes without moving. Get up regularly. 
When I was a teenager, there was a man on TV called Len Ring. And to this day, I still remember what he said. He said, don't use your back like a crane or you will get a back problem. He said, you can eliminate up to 50% of back injuries by getting objects up to knee height. Therefore, if you're putting out the washing, put your washing basket on a chair rather than on the ground. There are so many things that can be done at tabletop height rather than on the ground, like this. Therefore, if you're potting, bring the bag up to the table height. Bring it nice and close so you don't have to reach too far and work away at the things you love and enjoy without the great risk of acute low back pain.